Welcome to Clean Tech. In today's video I will be discussing and sharing why you should not buy the Ford Ranger 2023. But first, I would just like to welcome you to Clean Tech. This is a channel where we deliver the best tech, Tesla, SpaceX, Ford, EV industry, Elon Musk content as fast as it happens. We're working day and night to give you incredible insights and entertaining videos. I would really appreciate it if you could please like and subscribe. Also I just wanted to announce as we are a new channel which is growing by the day, we will be launching a giveaway for a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter is like and subscribe. The giveaway winner will be announced in due course. Now let's carry on with the video. Ford's mid-sized Ranger pickup truck will be redesigned for the 2023 model year. It adopts bolder front-end styling inspired by the larger F-150. While Ford has said it will offer the new Ranger with a turbo diesel V-6 in some markets, we expect the American version will be powered by the same turbocharged 2.3-liter four-cylinder engine as the current truck with rear-wheel drive as standard. A four-wheel drive system is optional, and we could see a hybrid powertrain option join the lineup too, but we're most excited about the prospect of a high-performance Raptor variant. There will be two distinct body styles, a four-door crew cab and an extended cab model with two rear half doors. The cabin receives a similar makeover, featuring a large, vertically-oriented infotainment system similar to what's found in the Edge SUV. Without more details about the new Ranger's pricing or its standard and optional features, we can't make a recommendation on which one is the best value but we'd suggest the roomier crew cab model for anyone who's planning on using the rear seat for toting passengers. While Ford could pull a switcheroo, we think the new Ranger will come with the same turbocharged 2.3-liter four-cylinder as the outgoing model. In our experience, this engine provides ample power to hustle the mid-sized truck around, and we don't expect that to change with the new model. Ford says it will offer a turbo-diesel V-6 in other markets but we don't think it will make its way to North America. A variety of transmissions are available, including a 6-speed manual and a 10-speed automatic, but we think Ford will stick with the 10-speed as standard equipment on Rangers in the US. The current model is capable of towing up to 7,500 pounds, which puts it near the top of its class for mid-size pickups. We expect the new model to offer similar capability. It's little wonder the new 2023 Ford Ranger Raptor, known as T6.2, is a step up in price over the old one. Not only does it feature the latest in technology, equipment and design, it also shoehorns in a larger new engine, a separate entity from the wider Ford Ranger lineup. As such, the 2023 model now starts at $85,490, before on-road costs. That's over $6,000 more than the first-generation T6 left off when it was retired earlier this year, and $10,500 dearer than when the Ranger Raptor first launched in 2018. But the new car does come with more in just about every regard. Aside from the power-up engine, the 2023 Ford Ranger Raptor scores an enlarged infotainment screen with new SYNC 4 software, revised interior with a new dash fascia, and fully digital instrument cluster. It also gets a switchable exhaust system, a permanent four-wheel drive system, locking front and rear differentials, tow hooks, spray and bedliner, 17-inch alloy wheels with BF Goodrich KO2 tires, and no less than seven separate driving modes. Some of this equipment is shared with its predecessor, but there is no doubt the new car adds a lot to the already comprehensive package the old car offered. Inside. The Ranger's cabin receives a modern look with an available digital gauge display, textured dashboard trim, and honeycomb patterned air vents. Most of the truck's various controls and buttons have been digitized and are now part of the infotainment system. Ford has incorporated several interior storage solutions into the new Ranger's interior design, including a hidden upper glove box in the dashboard, larger door pocket cubbies, and storage located under the truck's rear seat. A large 10.1-inch infotainment display is standard across the Ranger lineup for 2023, and buyers with a focus on tech can upgrade to an even bigger, vertically-oriented 12.1-inch screen. Ford's latest SYNC 4 interface runs on both and provides access to the Ranger's various controls, 
including activating a new zone lighting feature that turns on lights on the outside of the truck to light a job site or provide illumination to finish setting up camp in the dark. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will likely be standard and we expect extras such as in-dash navigation, a B&O Play stereo system, and Sirius XM satellite radio to also be offered. Ford has the best-selling truck not only in the United States but also in a huge number of European countries, including France, Germany, Italy, Spain, the UK, and others. Of course, we are talking about the Ford Ranger, which now enters a new era in its history with the first deliveries of the all-new Ranger Raptor on the old continent. The automaker introduced the performance truck in Europe for the first time in August 2018 and now it's time for the second gen model to replace it. Production of the new Ranger Raptor, Ford says, is well underway and the first customers are starting to receive their vehicles. The launch of the hardcore truck marks the start of the deliveries for the new generation Ranger, which is not available in the United States yet. However, Ford has already confirmed both the regular Ranger and the Ranger Raptor will be sold in North America with the production of the standard truck planned to kick off at the Michigan factory in May 2023. For now, the new Ranger Raptor is available for orders in Europe only with the new 3.0-liter twin turbocharged EcoBoost engine. Closely related to the V6 mill found under the hood of the Explorer Street, this unit generates a peak output of 288 horsepower. 215 kilowatts and 362 pound-feet 491 newton meters of torque delivered to all four wheels via a 10-speed automatic gearbox a 2.0 liter twin turbo diesel engine will join the range in early 2023 with the first customer deliveries expected in the summer of next year as far as the north american launch of the new ranger raptor is concerned the performance truck could arrive in the U.S. as either a 2023 or 2024 model. It is also unknown whether the machine will undergo any significant changes compared to the European and international versions. One thing we know for sure, however, is that the U.S. model won't be sold with a diesel engine. It will be very interesting to see what output the range Raptor's 3.0-liter EcoBoost V6 will have for America considering the international model available outside Europe produces 392 horsepower, 292 kilowatts, and 583 newton meters, 430 pound-feet, of torque. Ford promised to release more details regarding the North American launch of the truck early next year. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. I would really appreciate it if you do this as it really helps support the channel. We deliver the best tech, Tesla, SpaceX, Ford, EV industry, Elon Musk content as fast as it happens. We're working day and night to give you incredible insights and entertaining videos. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Until next time, see you later.